Seven years. That is the timeline to avoid a potential commuting disaster on the country's busiest rail line. Old age and severe storms have taken a toll on the aging infrastructure. Seven on your side investigative reporter Jim Hoffer got exclusive access inside the two tunnels in need of desperate repair. Jim? Yeah, we're talking here about two tracks, one inbound, one outbound, through a tunnel that's been in operation since before the sinking of the Titanic and before the automobile. Tunnel deterioration has accelerated since, Sandy, and as you're about to see, repairs are urgently needed. There's a point along the Northeast Corridor where multiple tracks that carry 450 trains a day squeeze down to just two tracks. Amtrak's Hudson River Tunnel, a two-mile tunnel under the river, with one track heading into Penn Station and one track heading out. It flooded the tunnel, it, it covered the bench walls. Although Storm Sandy flooded the tunnel more than five years ago, it continues to do damage. The salts and chlorides, the chemicals left behind, are still in there. They're continuing to eat away at the concrete that lines the bench walls. Days ago, Amtrak gave us an exclusive look inside this tunnel. By most accounts, it's the most important one in the nation. We wanted to see firsthand the deteriorating conditions. We have issues of concrete spalling, coming off, falling down onto the track. Piece by crumbling piece of corroding concrete moves the day closer when this critical 107-year-old tunnel will have to be closed. It needed attention before Superstorm Sandy, but Superstorm Sandy really just ratcheted up the urgency here. Amtrak estimates it as 10 years at the most before the tunnels need to be shut down for extensive repairs. Right now, 450 Amtrak and New Jersey Transit trains cross the Hudson River through the two rail tunnels every day. That is about 24 trains per hour. With one track closed, inbound and outbound trains would have to share one tunnel, reducing trains to just six per hour, a cut in rail service of 75% that would last for the entire four-year project. That's why we refer to this as the most urgent infrastructure program in the country, um, because it is unacceptable to have 10% of the nation's gross domestic product relying on single points of failure that are 107 years old. With time running out, the need to build a new rail tunnel has reached the zero hour. A new tunnel would allow Amtrak to close the existing tunnel for repairs without crippling train service. New York and New Jersey have committed more than $5 billion toward the project. The Trump administration, zero, leaving it out of the president's infrastructure plan. Starved for funds, Amtrak has still managed to build these concrete casings at Hudson Yards to preserve the right-of-way for a future tunnel. We need to get this done as soon as possible. In order to compete in the 21st century, we can't be relying on 107-year-old infrastructure. Now, to underscore the urgency here, keep in mind that 200,000 people ride through the tunnel every day. And if it's shut down to make repairs before a new tunnel is built, only 50,000 commuters will be able to make that trip. The rest, 150,000, will end up in cars and buses on already congested roadways.